Hi there. In this video, we'll walk you through adding a new product to your store, making it easy to fill in details like the product name, price, and category. Let's get started. First, head over to your store.link dashboard. Click on Products. And under Manage, select Open Product Sheet. The product sheet is like your main control center for everything you're selling. Each row represents a single product, neatly organized with all its important information. Take a look at the column headers. The black ones are mandatory fields, while the green ones are optional. It's important not to change these headers to ensure your online store operates smoothly. Currently, our store doesn't have any items yet. So let's add a new product together. For this demonstration, we'll be adding a pair of jeans. Under the name column, let's give it purple cotton jeans. We'll set the category as bottom wear. For the actual price, uh, we'll add $40. All right, we've just completed filling in data for these three mandatory columns. Let's quickly preview the store before we proceed. As you can see, the new product is now visible in the store. Let's return to the product sheet. You can also add a discounted price, let's say $20. In the description column, provide a brief overview of the product. Remember, you can also use markdown formatting here. This allows you to add headings or other text formatting for the product description. Let's set the size to large, fabric to cotton, and add a tag as new. Next, let's set the stock quantity to 100. Let's set the availability to show. Now, let's add a thumbnail image. You can either paste a URL of the image or use the gallery feature to upload and select an image. Click on Products, then Gallery, and upload your image. For this tutorial, let's select an image from the local computer and click Upload File. Once uploaded, copy the image and paste it into the designated cell. You can add additional product images under Image 1 and Image 2 using the same steps. You can also add videos to showcase your products. Just use embeddable URLs from platforms like YouTube or Vimeo. With all the details added, let's take a quick look at the store to ensure everything is in order. There's the product. Let's click on it. Great. All the information such as name, price, description, size, tag, and images are displayed correctly. Now, let's check out the product information table. This feature displays important product details in a structured table format. You can select the columns to be displayed by navigating to the settings menu and then selecting products. Here, let's add the stock column. Ensure your changes are saved and check the product page again. You'll notice that the stock quantity is now visible in the product information table. You can continue adding more products using the same method. Each addition will automatically sync to your store. Additionally, if you need to add product variants like this, simply maintain the same product name and adjust the variant columns accordingly. Just a heads up, by default, all changes in the product sheet automatically sync to the website. But if you don't see your updates reflected, you can manually sync using the Force Sync feature. If you have any questions, please visit storelink.help.center.